Okay. Okay. Um, we're going to be going up to the devolving planet, and it's when you when you receive this <coughs> educator guide, uh, section ten, we're going to be going into the hominid evolution section, and it has uh, pre, during, and post activities um, in there that you can do with your classes. Now I have I have these sheets here, and I will just without burying you with all the information in this book right now. I'll go over some of the pre, during, and post activities for a field trip, even if you don't use a field trip, if you just do it in your classroom. If you bring this guide up here, you can kind of scan at some of the, um, some of the things I'll be talking about as I flip through it. And one of the activities I'll be discussing is the experience box. Uh, we'll bring this up there, and there's a table all set up, so I can put it down and take out some of the materials. And what we have in here is we have three hominid skulls. Uh, we have uh, um, Lucy, Australia, uh, Australopithecus uh, apparatus. We have a robustus over here. Yeah. Boise. Boise. All right. Very nice. Um, we have we have some uh, some scattered around our school, two different Neanderthals and all the rest of it. Uh, we have Homo erectus, um, and we have um, Homo sapien cro magnum in the skull, and you could, you could grab these, uh, if, if this is all you had at the school, they're full size, you could take the box and then you could have, you can spread them out. Do you have a little whole set of them? Yeah. We have uh, a small set. Except for uh, Lucy. Well, so, uh, if you sign up for Harris Sloan, you can bring this to your school. It has a, a whole book mm -hmm. full of activities. Along if it's high school, there's a, a bunch of activities. If you uh, were able to get a CD right now, I'll be burning some later. They have uh, uh, videos of how we use the uh, skulls at our school. So if you bring the box, um, it's a simple activity where we have just the students compare and contrast the different skulls they have in front of them to try and put them in some type of sensible, sensible order. Um, so are we uh, going to yeah, be the, giving yeah, a so. presentation today on using hominid skull replicas to create lessons about human evolution. Um, this is a table I've set up. Here's some of the Harris Loan materials that you can bring to your classroom. Uh, we have Lucy, Australopithecus afferanus. Uh, we have um, Homo erectus, and we have Homo sapiens sapien Cro-Magnum man. Um, these come in the box. Uh, here's the box. It gives a listing of everything that comes in the hominid evolution box, what the contents are. Um, here are some activities that I use in the classroom, uh, different lab activities, uh, different materials. Uh, many of these are printable on my website, sciencewithmrnoon.com. Um, here's an article from the Field Members Magazine on the Evolving Planet, which explains uh, the creation of this box, which I took part in. Um, I was paid to put together a bunch of resources uh, about hominid evolution. Uh, here's some of the material I wrote up for these particular skulls, Homo habilis, Homo erectus, and uh, uh, Australopithecus afferanus, and here's uh, links. This is all on my website, sciencewithmrnoon.com. Here's links to the Smithsonian, where they have um, a series of skulls. I have a PowerPoint presentation. I put an audio presentation uh, on my website, which you can see, and you can hear um, some of the information that I gathered together to go with hominid skulls and teaching human evolution in class. Uh, here's some stone tools that early man created at different eras. Uh, some of the magazines that are very good to have in class. Excellent if you're going to talk about Darwin or evolution. This is a great magazine right here. This National Geographic is excellent to share with the students. Uh, here's the Field Museum's Educator's Guide for the recent uh, temporary exhibit on Darwin. And here is the book that accompanies the um, hominid skulls on evolution, uh, stuff in the evolving planet, and all these materials here are on the website, uh, the Field Museum, you go into the evolving planet section, and this is section 10, um, the hominids, uh, dawn of humankind, and you can print out all these 
uh, free lessons and ideas on how to use uh, this during your field trips. Uh, the information here, how to have a pre, during, and post focused field trip. So here we have Lucy, and this is a nice replica of Lucy that we have at the Field Museum in here. And here is the actual uh, replicas of Lucy. These were the, the different bones that were recovered and also a full a full uh, replica for students to touch on what the hands would be like and what the face would be like. So you can see what we have here. This is a nice uh, bit of information. Is This is what you could uh, show your students and then you could show them uh, the actual bones that were recovered and you can uh, discuss how these replicas have uh, patterns to represent uh, those bones that were discovered and you can see where speculation was taken to redesign the rest of the skull and then you could furthermore go on to see how an entire uh, face could be recreated and you can in this uh, activity that you're going to get, there's, there's activities, free activities that uh, the ideas are written in here. And some of the pre activities we have would be just like with this experience box, where you can bring these hominid skulls. And there's also, if you don't have the experience box, you can use these sheets. These uh, PDFs are also on your CD. And you can have students, depending on what level they're on, they can do different comparisons. Uh, measurements of the skulls, these are supposed to be accurate to uh, each of them, how, they, how they're correlated. There's a little size scale there and millimeters on the bottom. You could use them, in here we have a um, caliper so that the students can, can take measurements, different measurements, if they want to do the brows, or if they want to do the, uh, the, the um, uh, mandibles, uh, the jaw, if they want to do temporal muscles, they want to check any of the skulls. And also in the box are different stone tools. In the cards are here, you don't have to just like bring it out and say, uh, I don't know what the difference between this. There's cards for the skulls and for the stone tools that, that tells what the different shapes, uh, how they're correlated, and what time they were made. So they can see how the tools advanced from, uh, from simple rocks with uh, blunt edges to fine uh, sharp instruments. Um, that you could that you could pierce with, right? So it, it explains how uh, people went from being scavengers to hunters, and how the tools reflect these um, different different jobs, people, have, uh, different cultures or traditions they were passing on. In here, this would be a, a pre-activity that you could bring all this to the school and have your students. Uh, Look at skulls, come up with ideas of their own, try and comparing and contrasting what the different skulls are. Like I said, I show how we do this with our students at Argo and how they, they try to place the skulls in sequence to see which one might be the oldest, which one might be the uh, relatively youngest uh, skull. Um, it has cards on the skulls, so you could kind of um, have a look at that or you want, might want to cover it up if you wanted to come up with some ideas. And there is, uh, SETI Institute has a whole book of activities and videos explaining human evolution and all types of levels of labs. Um, this is called, SETI had a whole series, Voyages Through Time, on um, evolution all across the board. But this book right here is on common evolution. And the CDs are in here, and these have scientists from all over the world giving short, uh, introductions like we had said where you can put in a PowerPoint. Now I don't like to say this when Monica's around but these can be copied too if you're if your computer sad. Uh, and the videos from here can be copied and put into a PowerPoint also. This is this is part of this box. Yes it's all in the box. So this box this box has if you just had this box you have two to three weeks worth of lessons every day at all levels at all levels on human evolution. This is a whole unit on human evolution, all in a box. And it's $30 a year for the Harris loan uh, that you get it, and you can take anything out for free. Take it for two weeks, for three weeks. Uh, call up Moses, call up Mara, and they'll just, whatever you need to bring it back, you bring it back.